What's up, garden nerds? Today we're gonna nerd out over lantana. Lantana is a super easy, fun, flowering bush to grow. I'm gonna tell you all about it. Come on, let's go. All right guys, so here I am standing in front of one of my lantana. You can see this one is tall, taller than me, taller than six feet. A lot of people, for whatever reason, don't like lantana. I think lantana is an awesome bush to grow in your own yard. It's a quick, easy way to add lots of cool color in your yard. Lantana come in tons of different colors, so really, you just go to the nursery and find the color that you like, and you can instantly have easy color, beautiful color in your backyard. Why do I say it's easy? Well, the first reason is it's extremely drought tolerant especially here in the desert southwest where we don't want to water everything, you can plant a lantana and once it's established, it needs very, very little water. In fact, I think this guy no longer gets direct water. He just gets water from the surrounding areas, from the grass and the other plants that I do directly water. Once the winter hits, these things may take a bit of a hit. They don't like the cold. So if we get a hard freeze, they might die back. But during the whole winter, you don't have to water them at all. If they do die back, usually what I do is I let them look ugly for a month or two, but once it starts to heat up, once it's springtime, I simply hack all the dead stuff off and after a month of warm weather, it grows fast. You can, you can grow, once it's established and it has a good root system, this thing can grow six feet in a year. So there are two different, well, actually there's lots of different kinds of, of lantana, but there's two main distinctions between lantana. There's trailing lantana that I'll show you in my front yard that crawls across the ground. It's gonna spread out horizontally on the ground and it's gonna cover the ground. Then you have the lantana that will grow up and you can do this. So the yellow variety is gonna grow up. If you look on the other side of my pool, it grows up right next to my pool. So it's really cool while we're swimming, we get the color of the lantana um, and it's not that messy of a bush either. But anyway, so this grows taller and then you have the trailing that grows along the ground. The reason or the way to tell when you're at the nursery is the, the woodier stuff um, that seems to get a little thicker, um, that stuff grows up. The, um, the stuff that doesn't look so thick and not so woody, um, usually it's like your white lantana and your purple lantana, that's the spreading lantana that's gonna grow across the ground and you can use as a ground cover. If you don't wanna grow grass, if you wanna cover up your ugly dirt, stick some lantana in and it's gonna cover up your ugly dirt and make a really cool, nice looking ground cover. Okay, I mentioned that they will die back in the winter if we get a really hard freeze and then you just cut them back once it's springtime and they'll, they'll thrive um, and explode. You also, throughout the year, want to be trimming your lantana. Now, why do I say that? Well, of course, you don't want it to be overgrown. You want it to look good. But also, the flowers here grow on all the new growth. So if you're constantly trimming it to keep the, the shape that you want, you're constantly going to be getting new flowers. So a lot of people think, oh, if I trim it, I'm not going to get any more flowers. That's not true. Turn it back, it's gonna have new growth, you're gonna have new flowers. So maybe one of the reasons people hate lantana is they say it's invasive and it grows like crazy. So if you're an extremely lazy gardener, maybe lantana isn't for you. But if you don't mind every few months coming out here and trimming, lantana is awesome and it gives you these awesome flowers. I trim this around my pool maybe once every three months. I just hack it down. It looks ugly for a week, but it grows back and then it has all these awesome flowers. So make sure you're constantly trimming it into the shape you want all the time, and then you'll get awesome looking flowers all the time as well. When it comes to caring for your lantana, I already mentioned that they don't need a lot of water, but of course, the more water, the faster they're gonna grow, the greener they're gonna be, the, the better they're gonna look, but they don't need a lot of water. They also don't need a lot of fertilizer. But if you give them fertilizer every so often, they're gonna grow more flowers, flowers are gonna be bigger, flowers are gonna be more beautiful. So fertilize, but you actually don't have to. This guy grows just fine now that it's established and I never ever fertilize it and it grows just fine. So like I said, besides the trimming part, they're an extremely easy plant to grow. Also, when you're looking and trying to decide where to plant them in your yard, they don't like shade, they like the full sun. Very few plants, in Arizona in the hot desert southwest like full sun and little water. Lantana does. So if you have a place that's just hot and nothing seems to want to grow there, 
plant lantana. It'll grow there and it will give you awesome color in your backyard. Not only will you love it, but the hummingbirds and bees love it. Also, butterflies love it. So you come out here um, in the spring or in the fall when it cools down like this and you're gonna see lots of hummingbirds, lots of bees, lots of butterflies all around it. So it brings awesome color to your yard, but it also brings some awesome critters to your yard as well. All right guys, so I wanted to give you a few ideas. People usually just think of lantana as on the ground. You saw what I was just talking about standing in front of where I grew the lantana high as like a wall, as a hedge. Here, I am growing this lantana as a tree. You can see here, you can see the, the trunk down below. And then I have it trimmed up almost into like a, a lollipop. And what I've done is I've slowly raised the lollipop as I trim. So I'm constantly trying to raise it until I find the height that I like. You can do that too. It just takes a lot of trimming, a lot of patience and a lot of time, but you can grow them as a tree. And then that way they're not spreading all throughout the ground and they're not invasive like a lot of people complain about. So. Um, I'm constantly trimming this. You can tell it needs a trim now. The more you trim it, the more it's gonna bush out. You can tell here, this is real lanky. I'll probably come and cut this right here so that it will spread out. You can see where I cut it here and it put two branches out. So I'll cut it here, it'll put two more branches out, cut it here, it'll put two more branches out. So it will continually get more bushy and bushy. So this is just another example of how you can add color to your backyard with antenna, but not the normal antenna like you're used to seeing. And this is a really cool, red and orange look that I really like. Um, it's always giving beautiful flowers. And then here is probably your typical example of lantana and, and what it does. This is a white variety and a purple variety, but I just planted this. I put it close by the tree, which I hand water and, or that I, that I directly water. And then the lantana just steals water from that and it spreads out instead of seeing the grass that's trying to come in here, instead of seeing the wood chips, all you see are cool flowers. So this is another idea. You can use this in your tree wells um, because if you have this as a ground cover, it's gonna keep a lot of the moisture in the ground and your trees are going to really appreciate it. So hopefully that gives you an idea of some things you can do with lantana. All right guys, so as you can tell, I really love lantana because I love all the color, easy color that it brings to my backyard. Very minimal care, especially if you want it to grow crazy. No care at all. You just plant it and let it go. But if you want to trim it into something like this, it takes a little bit of care to trim it. But that's it. Very stress-free, low-maintenance plants. So if you're looking to add some color into your backyard, especially in hot areas where things haven't grown in the past, I highly recommend lantana. Go and get some lantana, plant it. You'll be happy you did. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the subscribers. Please like the video. And as always, if you have ideas or suggestions for videos you want me to make in the future, let me know. I'm happy to make them. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.